lesson 81. This is the second review in the Course in Miracles and I have created something very nice for this particular review session. So this review session com is comprised of two ideas per day, which is supposed to do one in the morning 15 minutes and in the afternoon 15 minutes. So I have created two different Qigong classes for you for this particular day. I'm going to create altogether 10 classes, which you then can choose which particular class you would like to use for your particular review as we are progressing in. For today, I have created two classes for the two, to, for the two ideas today. Then I'm going to create two classes tomorrow. And by the end of the first five days, there is going to be 10 shorter Qigong classes where you can apply your idea. And once you have done those 10 classes, you're gonna know which one's your favorite. And in the second part of the review phase, you then can pick and choose which one of those classes you like best and which one you feel is best suited to the particular idea which is meant to be reviewed in that day. So let's read the instructions for this second review together and the idea for lesson 81. Review number two. We are now ready for another review. We will begin where our last review left off and cover two ideas each day. The earlier part of each day will be devoted to one of these ideas. The course actually wants us to split the two ideas up and dedicate the earlier part of the day to one idea and the later part of the day to, a, to the other idea. We will have one longer exercise period and frequent shorter ones in which we practice each of them. And then it says here, the longer practice periods will follow this general form. Take about 15 minutes for each of them. So that's why I have created short 15, 10 to 15 minute videos for you. So you can follow the suggestion of what the course is suggesting. And begin by thinking about the idea and the comments which are included in the assignments. Devote about three or four minutes to reading them over slowly, several times if you wish, and then close your eyes and listen. Repeat the first phase if you find your mind wandering, but try to spend the major part of the practice period listening quietly but attentively. There is a message waiting for you. Be confident that you will receive it. Remember that it belongs to you. And, you, and that you want it. Do not allow your intent to waver in the face of distracting thoughts. Realize that whatever form that takes, they have no meaning and no power. Replace them with your determination to succeed. Do not forget that your will has power over all fantasies and dreams. I have to repeat this to you. Do not forget that your will has power over all fantasies and dreams. And I just want to point out to you again, will is not the same as wish. Wish is when you're wishing something and you're hoping that somehow this is going to solve itself by, by itself. A will is where you are deciding, you determine that this is going to work. You're going to do what it takes to make sure that will is going to become reality. So do not forget that your will has power over all fantasies and dreams. Trust it to see you through and carry you beyond them all. Regard these practice periods as dedications to the way, the truth and the life. Let me repeat this. Regard these practice periods as dedications to the way. This is called Dao in, uh, in Chinese. This is the Dao, it's called the way. The truth and the life. Refuse to be sidetracked into detours, illusions and thoughts of death. You are dedicated to salvation. That's why we are doing this. Be determined each day not to leave your function unfulfilled. Reaffirm your determination in the shorter practice periods as well, using the original form of the idea for general application 
and a more specific form when needed. Some specific forms will be included in the comments. These, however, are merely suggestions. It is not the particular words you use that matter. And that is what the, what the course is um, progressively teaching us to understand what is important is the meaning which you put behind and your willpower, your intent, the decisions you are making on a day-to-day, -day, on a minute-to-minute -minute basis, I would even say. This is what we are practicing. We are retraining our mind, becoming aware that, becoming aware, first of all, and also becoming aware that our thoughts can be controlled, that we can control the way we are thinking by training our mind to, to look in a certain way by, by, by allowing our thoughts to flow in a particular direction. So we are always making like a dam, we are making like a channel where we're saying, okay, this is where the thoughts are allowed to flow. Because if you're uncontrolled, the, flow, the thoughts are flowing all over the place. And we are saying, no, 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 this is not what we want. Because this is ego craziness, we are going to channel this, these thoughts the way we need them to, chan to be channeled and we need, we need them to flow so we can accomplish what we want to accomplish in this world. You can use that to manifest really anything. But manifesting anything, whatever, big wealth and um, several houses and, and God knows what, this is, this is secondary. It really is not going to help us <laughs> in the long run, all of us together, to save ourselves, to wake up all of us. <laughs> this is lesson 81. Our ideas for review today are, this belongs to lesson 61, I am the light of the world my favorite sentence. Write this lesson down, I am the light of the world, and then later when you do the Qigong class, so you remember the lesson, you remember the, the idea. How holy am I who have been given the function of lighting up the world? Let me be still before my holiness. In its calm light, let all my conflicts disappear. In its peace, let me remember who I am. Some specific forms for applying the idea when specific difficulties seem to arise might be. Let me not obscure the light of the world in me. Let the light of the world shine through this appearance. This appearance or that appearance, the person you have got in front of you. This shadow will vanish before the light. So I suggest that you take a piece of paper and you write down, I am the light of the world. This is your morning idea, for the first part of the day. And then you write those three sentences below. Let me not obscure the light of the world in me. Let the light of the world shine through this appearance and this shadow will vanish before the light. So if anything, strange happens maybe somebody attacks you maybe verbally or maybe you get some negative letter through the post or you get a negative email or, or whatever so a neighbor starts shouting at you you know you can't control what other people are doing then you have got some kind of tools and ideas which you can apply and remembering that you are the light of the world okay so this you do in the first part of the day in the second part of the day we go to the second idea which is from lesson 62 lesson 62 Forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. It is through accepting my function that I will see the light in me. And in this light will my function stand clear and perfectly unambiguous before my sight. My acceptance does not depend on my recognizing what my function is. For I do not yet understand forgiveness. Yet I will trust that in the light I will see it as it is. It took me a while before I understood forgiveness. That I can guarantee you. A specific forms for using the idea might include. Let this help me learn what forgiveness means. Let me not separate my function from my will. I would not use this for an alien purpose or for a strange purpose. So again, you write this particular idea 
forgiveness is my function as the light of the world on another piece of paper and then let this help me learn what forgiveness means and the reason why I want you to write this by hand is because it's going to help you remember it you're using your eyes as you are doing it but you're also using the motoric you're using your hands and as you're writing it you are you are expressing an intent on top of it that you want to remember this particular sentence so that's why I, I'm urging you or I'm advising you to write it down on a piece of paper and I used to do write it down on two or three pieces of papers because I like to have one along with me in my handbag and I like to have one on my desk I was sitting working at a computer so I wanted to have it there and sometimes I even made three because I wanted to lay one on the dashboard in my car in case I should forget so the more often you write it down the more likely you are to remember what your lesson is okay so forgiveness this is like the first part we're talking about forgiveness the next sections in the book we are we're going to go much deeper into forgiveness but forgiveness is a very very important um, tool which we are going to learn later on first of all you just need to remember that you are the light of the world and you need to remember that forgiveness is your function as the light of the world okay so You've got the links below in the description for the two classes which I have created specifically for this section. And you can, you can do one Qigong class applying it for the first idea and another Qigong class to apply to the second idea. Like I have said in the introduction of this video, these are two classes which you're going to, which you're going to apply today. By the end of this fi first five days, I will have created 10 classes and those 10 classes then you can pick and choose from which you want to repeat for the second part of the reviews. Enjoy!